Just over three years ago, I thought I was losing my mind. I mean, literally losing my mind. My memory was failing me. I found myself doing things, and I didn't know why I was doing them. My concentration was becoming noticeably weaker. Sometimes I'd be faced with a very minor problem, and I just didn't know what to do. Or someone would be saying something, and I couldn't make sense of their words. I'd started repeating myself, too, saying something, and then realizing with a shock that I'd already said it less than an hour ago. It got very slightly worse as the weeks wore on. It was frightening. I found myself constantly worried about what was happening to me. I'm fine now. Better than fine. I'm probably sharper now than I ever have been since my 20s. But I never want to go back to how I was. What made it worse was that this kind of condition has run in my family for generations. Three different relatives of mine descend into a nightmare world where they knew things were going badly wrong for them mentally. They knew their brain was starting to fail. They could feel it and experience it, but they felt powerless to stop it. As the condition progressed, so did their despair. If I knew anything, it was that I did not want to go down the same terrifying path that they went down. My doctor told me I was simply experiencing the normal symptoms of growing older. For him, I was just one more case. He'd seen it a thousand times. He'd see a thousand more. But for me, it was my life and I felt I was losing my grip on it. He told me to eat better and get outside a bit more. I did, but I still got progressively worse. As I say, that was then. At the time, I think everyone assumed I was going to slowly follow my relatives into a miserable decline of forgetfulness, confusion, and helplessness. Thankfully, it didn't work out that way. And that's in part because of a really fortunate accident I had just over three years ago. It led me to meet someone who, just in conversation, gave me an incredible break, one that changed my life forever. A near miss and a stroke of luck. I had been driving to my local mall, something I'd done hundreds of times previously, but as I approached it, I didn't recognize anything. I had simply forgotten where I was. I turned into the parking lot, and I didn't know where I was. In my confusion, I'd stopped my car quite suddenly, which very nearly caused the car behind to rear-end me. He honked furiously at me. I parked my car and apologized to him. I'd explained I'd got confused and that I was sorry. Turned out he was extremely sympathetic. We'd chatted for a few moments, and he revealed that his wife had gone through a similar time some years previously. Forgetfulness, loss of concentration, and moments where she simply didn't know where she was or what she was doing. Despite very good medical care, her condition gradually worsened. So he had done some research on her behalf and found a natural and straightforward approach to addressing her deteriorating brain function. Things got slowly better for her day by day. After some weeks, the incidence of memory failure and confusion ceased completely. He told me his wife felt as mentally sharp as a young adult again. He wrote down the name of the program they'd used. He suggested I try it since I had nothing to lose and everything to gain. When I got home, I ordered myself a copy, and I started to work on it that afternoon. And thanks to that gentleman, for whom I had nearly caused a car accident, I too am as sharp and as alert as I have ever been in my life. The turnaround was extraordinary, and this is how it works. The key factors to creating a strong brain have always been known. Perhaps my biggest surprise with this program is discovering that when our memory is letting us down, when our concentration is failing us time and again, and we just seem to not be thinking like we used to, there are proven ways of restoring mental vitality that have been delivering outstanding results to tens of thousands of people for years and years. And while I would always strongly advise that you follow your doctor's instructions, I also thank my lucky stars I found a better way to undo these frightening changes that were taking place in my mind. And over a short period of time, it returned me to a mental strength and sharpness I hadn't experienced since my early 20s. And this is what it is. The essence of the program is very, very straightforward. It tackles the causes of this horrible condition right at its source, exactly where it actually starts. Because these problems with poor memory, weak concentration, confusion, they don't just happen for no reason. It's not just old age. Think about it. Your brain doesn't sit there with a calendar marking off the days until it's time for you to have a brain problem. Instead, something is taking place inside your body that is creating the symptoms that are worrying the life out of you. Something is happening to you, and whatever that something is, it's leading to the problems you're having right now. And as far as our cognitive decline is concerned, scientists have known 
for some years now what that something is. It's blood flow. More to the point, it's the lack of blood flow to the brain. When blood doesn't flow properly to the brain, the brain is starved of two things it badly needs in order to function properly, oxygen and nutrients. And research scientists have proved beyond any doubt that a brain that receives a reduced amount of blood flow will start to malfunction. You will begin to forget things. You will become disoriented. Your focus will suffer. Your attention will weaken. You will become increasingly confused. Much, much worse. It will worsen over time. The brain needs oxygen and it needs nutrients. And both these are delivered to it via blood flow. If that flow is being slowed or blocked in any way at all, then it's getting less than it needs. Starved of what it needs to perform efficiently, it starts performing inefficiently. And this leads to what you're experiencing in your day-to-day -day life. The mistakes, the errors, the losses of your conscious life are the result of misfirings inside your brain matter. And this is not theory, conjecture, or an area that needs further study. It's fact. The connection between reduced blood flow to the brain and steady, measurable brain decline has been researched and shown with both mice and with humans. It was when I addressed blood flow problems to my brain that I finally turned the whole thing around and got my life back again. How I tackled this horrible condition. I learned quickly that I had to act quickly. The deadly side effect of chronic lack of oxygen is the production of sticky protein substances throughout the brain. These sticky clumps create a kind of plaque that interfere with how brain neurons fire. And wherever our neurons are having trouble firing is where we're going to experience very real, very noticeable brain decline. And it's an ongoing process. In a healthy brain, these plaques are rare and quickly cleared away. In a less than healthy brain, they accumulate over time throughout the brain. It's this steady clogging up of the brain that leads to our mental decline. But there is one piece of really good news. This clogging up of the brain is a process, not an event. And like many processes, it's one that we can influence. It's one we can directly act on ourselves. Switching the brain back on. Imagine that the flow of blood and oxygen to your head is controlled by a tap. When you're healthy, the tap flows freely. Nutrients and oxygen-laden blood reaches your brain, keeping it in excellent working order. But in my case then, and probably in your case now, that tap was slowly being turned off. For you, it's not yet off, but you're starting to notice that this is where it's heading. It's heading to a state where you have no cognitive function. You can't look after yourself. You don't know what's going on. A steady collapse of brain effectiveness. We need to move it back to fully on. If we can do that, then blood flows freely again. Oxygen reaches all the brain and the quantities needed, and the brain finds its way back to fully functioning. That's exactly what I did for myself. And it's an incredible experience. I felt physically better after three or four days. I don't know if this was those plaques gradually clearing out of my brain. Maybe it was parts of my brain that were underperforming, suddenly coming back into life. I really can't say that I know. But it felt like I'd been in a smoky room for the previous year. And then, all of a sudden, I found a door, opened it, and stepped out into the fresh air of a brightly lit day. It was a startling transformation. The Brain Booster. The program that the gentleman at the mall told me about is called the Brain Booster. It's a very accurate name for the program. I do feel super powered sometimes. It was created by Christian Goodman. I used it to restore the flow of oxygen and nutrients to my brain, and I have never looked back. Christian's approach to tackling illness is simple but stunningly effective. He recognizes that most illnesses come about because of normal lifestyle circumstances. If we don't address the lifestyle cause, then, at best, the drugs we're prescribed will only mask the illness. They suppress symptoms, but leave the illness still there. For some health conditions, that might work. For others, it works sometimes. But for brain problems, well, once that starts going bad, it continues going bad unless it's dealt with head-on. No playing with symptoms here. You get rid of it, or in the end, it gets rid of you. So why is blood to your brain being restricted? Blood travels around the body via blood vessels, veins, arteries, and capillaries. Our blood carries oxygen and nutrients to every part of the body and brain. And everywhere they go, those blood vessels are hemmed in by bones, muscles, organs. And this is where our problems begin. 
We're used to seeing pictures in textbooks of our veins and arteries just floating in our bodies, as if they are freestanding, surrounded by empty space, untouched by anything else. The reality is very different. In reality, our bodies are tightly packed. Blood vessels, arteries, and veins are pressed up close against muscle tissue and bone. They have very little room at all to move. Yet, they need at least a small amount of movement. Because as the heart pumps oxygenated blood through your arteries, they expand a little in order to carry this blood load. They then return to normal before expanding again to carry the next load of blood. Expand, relax, expand, relax. Your arteries need to be able to do this if they're to properly deliver life-giving blood to your body and brain. If things are normal in the body, they have just enough movement to be able to flex and expand with each heartbeat, and so let plenty of oxygen-laden blood get up to your brain. But if some of the surrounding internal muscles are a little tight and inflexible, then arteries find themselves pushed up against bones and organs, and suddenly they don't have the same freedom to move anymore. Surrounded by tight, inflexible internal muscles, they don't have the freedom to flex and expand with each heartbeat. And that directly affects the amount of oxygenated blood they can transport to your brain. With each heartbeat, we're not quite sending the brain the blood and oxygen it needs to function properly. There's only so much of this your brain can take before its ability to function starts to decline, and you start to notice that decline. Internal muscle tightness is normal, yet deadly. And those internal muscles do get tighter over time. It's not your fault, but until you know what's happening to you, it is largely unavoidable. Unfortunately, tightness in some of those deeper muscles is almost impossible for us to feel or notice until it causes other problems, like blood flow problems and brain decline. And blood flow problems are serious problems. Because the longer that deprivation continues, the more pronounced those symptoms are going to become. Until one day we reach the point of no return. But if you're worried about your own brain health, there is good news. I started turning that flow of oxygen-rich blood back on in days. In weeks, I was mentally sharper than I ever remember being. And I've been that way now for three years. Christian Goodman's Brain Booster showed me what I needed to do to be rid of this problem for life. I did as he instructed, and I got the results. The Three Vital Keys to Restoring Fantastic Brain Health 1. Breathing for the Brain I learned quickly there's a difference between breathing and breathing so your brain gets maximum oxygen. We breathe approximately 20,000 times a day. So even the smallest problem with the way our body breathes is being repeated 20,000 times every single day. Can you imagine how a tiny bit of oxygen deprivation in each breath is going to damage your brain over the coming weeks and months? Whereas a small improvement in each breath brings you a little more life-giving air per breath 20,000 times a day. Honestly, by the second day of practicing better breathing, I felt more alive and alert than I had done for years. I now take proper breathing very seriously. I've not had a single symptom of memory loss, brain fog, or confusion for over three years, but I still do these exercises at least once every day because I want to keep it that way. 2. Fix the muscles that are suffocating your brain. There's no compromise on this. If tense, inflexible internal muscles are pushing arteries up against bones or organs, allowing them no freedom to move even a tiny bit, they're not going to be able to expand in order to allow blood to flow through. Squashed arteries can't deliver oxygen or nutrients where you so desperately need them. No matter how perfect your breathing technique, that life-enhancing breath isn't going to get where it's needed, and you're going to lose oxygen to the brain. It's internal muscles that cause most of the problems, I had to make those muscles relaxed and pliable once more, and I had to do it without delay. Otherwise, my brain faced chronic oxygen deprivation, and I faced catastrophic, irreversible cognitive decline. 3. Target oxygen directly to the brain Ever wondered why different people experience different combinations of symptoms? Dizziness, forgetfulness, low moods, loss of physical balance, difficulty in recognizing faces, Confusion over where you are or what you're doing. Why is it that you and I can suffer the same condition, reduce blood flow to the brain, yet we have different sets of symptoms? That's because different parts of our brains are being damaged. You're experiencing oxygen loss in one area. I'm experiencing it in another. Both of us will end up in the same terrible state in the end. But in the early stages, the illness can look different for both of us. 
Fortunately, there's a very powerful way that humans can cause blood to move from one brain area to another. It mimics exactly something your body already does to divert oxygen to different parts of the head. A couple of minutes of doing this each day delivers replenishing oxygen to parts of the brain that are right now being systematically starved of it. I followed Christian's instructions to the letter, and I can honestly say that my troubles just melted away as my brain sparkled back into life again, and I freed myself of worry and fear over my failing health. Did somebody say exercise? Let's be clear, when I say I did exercises, don't for a moment imagine these were strenuous, difficult exercises that made me puff or sweat. Almost every single one can be done either sitting down, lying down, or both. So I would do one exercise while out walking, another while at home preparing food for dinner, and a third while sitting watching television. There are several to choose from, and even today I still do most of them, just for maintenance purposes. And on long car journeys, every time we're stopped at lights, I'll do one of the exercises until we move again. There's even one that'll make you laugh while you're doing it. But don't underestimate what these exercises will do for you. They're easy, but they're powerful. Is this a magic remedy created by a genius inventor? No, not at all. Christian Goodman isn't claiming to be the genius creator of some deeply mysterious miracle remedy. As with his other programs, he has taken known science and already proven methods and brought them together to create a program that literally transforms a person's brain health. He tests thoroughly, and best of all, he 100% guarantees his programs. However he does it, I'm so glad he does. I found the Brain Booster just when I absolutely needed it most. I can't imagine, I don't want to imagine, where I'd be today if I'd not taken this chance to make things better for myself. How about you? If you're feeling the worry that I felt when I first realized I had a problem, then you have my sympathies. I first tried to pretend it wasn't happening, that it was just something that happened as you get older. I soon learned it wasn't something that just happened, and that for my own sake, I needed to address it once and for all. I did just that. And I'm so glad, so relieved that I'm where I am today. If I'd left it, I just don't want to think about what I'd be like today. If you're ready to address this once and for all, then click the link below and order your copy of Brain Booster. It'll be one of the best decisions you've ever made. Avoid the slippery slope. We know it's true, but it's worth reminding ourselves. This condition, memory loss, confusion, inability to understand or focus doesn't clear itself up. It's a process that has already started, and it heads in one awful direction only. Fortunately, it can be tackled head on, and as I and over 4,000 other people have found out, it can be so completely treated that we end up more mentally capable than we've been since our 20s. Don't just leave this. It only heads in one direction. Click the link below and start addressing your brain health today. There is only a nightmare at the end of this. Some conditions you can leave for six months. They don't get disastrously worse. But that's not true when we're finding ourselves noticeably more forgetful or confused. Some changes we feel almost overnight. Our problem here is that reversing this kind of condition is more difficult the longer it has gone on. There comes a point where we're simply unable to help ourselves anymore. And that's it. Game over we're able to realize what's happening to us, but we're unable to fight it anymore. Don't do this to yourself. Act now, get it done, and then move on. You need to do this. Click the link below.